Hi, this is Irv Shapiro, aka Dr. Vax, and we're going to talk about the original Prusa I3 Mark III and the problem with the filament sensor falsely detecting that the filament is out or jammed in the middle of a print. I found one of the contributing factors is that the idler screws, these screws here, are too tight. And that if you tighten them too tight, you have a greater likelihood, I found in my experiences, of getting false filament out detections or filament change detections. Let me begin showing you how I adjust the extruder idler screws, the screws that have springs under the idler, to get the pressure on the extruder idler to be just right. The goal I found is to have the minimum amount of pressure that will properly pull the filament through the extruder and no more. If you have too much or too little, I have found that you will receive filament out airs during the middle of your prints that you wouldn't normally receive. The two screws that adjust the filament idler pressure are on the side of the extruder right here and here. They go into nuts on the back here. To begin this procedure, I unscrew these all the way out until they're just barely catching on the other side. So I unscrew the idler screws until they're just barely catching on the other side. Now we're going to make sure that the printer is prepared to load filament. So the first step is to use the front panel to go to preheat and I'm going to select PLA because in my particular case I will be using PLA to calibrate the tension on the idler. In fact I'm going to be using the gray PLA that came with my printer. In essence, it shouldn't matter which filament you use other than setting the temperature properly because they're all 1.75 millimeters in diameter. To prepare for loading the filament, I want to cut off the end of the filament at a 45 degree angle. Okay, now we have to wait just a moment for this to come up to temperature. Now that our printer is up to temperature, we're going to attempt to load this filament. It is likely that this won't load at all because it may just be too loose. Alternatively, it may begin to load. In either case, while it's loader, loading, I'm going to squeeze the filament just a little bit so that it puts a bit of pressure on it to make sure it's being gripped adequately. So let's uh, insert this in here. You heard the beep. In this case, even with those screws backed all the way out, the filament is loading. But it does appear that I can stop it from loading. And let's see if it actually comes all the way out. And we can see that it's not properly gripping. It's not coming all the way out. Let's continue to watch for a moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten each of these about one full turn. There we go. And you can see that made a difference immediately. So now I'm going to pull this filament off, make sure it's completely round and it feels, this felt a little bit um, narrow. It felt like a little thin. So it probably was under extruded. Let's say it was correct. Let's tell it on the menu it was correct. Let's unload the filament and that came out nice and easily and now this time I'm going to turn each of these another full turn and then we'll try it again once again snip this on an angle attempt to load the filament Put a little back pressure on it. Make sure, not a lot. I don't want to stop it, but I want to feel like it's really pulling it through. 
Okay, let's wait a minute to see if it extrudes. It looks like it's extruding nicely. Now the other thing I want to look at is that this is coming out nice and straight and even. It is until it hits the bottom there. Okay, we'll wait until we get the menu indication that says, is it correct? We'll tell it yes. We'll pull this off. We'll check it again. And now, this is really quite strong, feels nice and round, um, which indicates that we have enough pressure. Now, what's really amazing here is these screws are still quite at the heads of the screws, the tops of the screws, are quite a bit out from the body of the extruder. And in, if I remember correctly, in the instructions that came with the printer, it indicated that you should screw them in until they're just about flush. So we need quite a bit less tension than we originally thought. I found when you correctly tension these idler screws, the filament detection mechanism works more reliably. Now as a wrap up, what we were doing is we were adjusting the idler screws that connect through the extruder, the extruder body, and put pressure from the idler on the gear that pulls the filament through. We want it to be just barely tight enough to pull it through fully. If it's too loose, when we look at our filament, it won't be nice and round, won't be fully extruded. Um, if it's too tight, I found that you get an increased number of false filament out notifications, filament change notifications um, from the filament sensor. I hope this is helpful. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe to this channel and like this video. Thank you. Have a good day.